Hello again and welcome to the last video that I currently have planned for the Cartel Christmas Pack. There are four missions that I haven't played in videos yet, but I really only want to play one of them. And the reason for that is, these two Yellow Comet missions, I find them to be just way too difficult. Um, I haven't beaten them, and I don't think I could beat them in a reasonable amount of time in a video, so I'm going to have to leave them alone. And this Black Hole mission, it is a remake of the final battle from Advance Wars 1, a map that I have played way too many times. I played it in Vanilla Advance Wars 1, I played it in a ROM hack that I made, and I played it in the Xenesis War Room hack from way back in 2012, so kind of burnt out on the final battle. So... We're going to play the Green Earth mission instead, and this is not so much an improvement on an old mission, so much as it is taking an old concept and giving it a very new spin. What do I mean by this? What if Sea Fortress, except you play as Drake? And I don't mean like, you know, I don't mean like giving Drake that Air Force, because that would be completely nuts. Although you would be able to make the enemies run out of fuel. That would be interesting. But no, it's Sea Fortress completely remade to give Drake a navy instead of an air force. And that will be interesting, I think. So let's get going. And as you can see, you also start with units already inside of the transporters. So you will get to use a couple of ground units. I think that's actually a really interesting approach to the mission here. Now, it's known that in Advance Wars DS, you sometimes start with units inside of transporters. But that never happens in original Advance Wars 2. So this is definitely breaking some new ground. Alright, so let's start by sending out the subs. It's a very good idea to make a wall of dived subs. Because if the enemy runs into one of them, they'll get trapped. And especially if they decide to run into this one right here. The cruiser's just going to be stuck. And, um, well, it will reveal, reveal the other sub, though. So maybe I should, like, send this cruiser forward into the reef. And I can send the battleship forward as well. You gotta be careful, though, because, you know, you don't know where the enemy's uh, battleships are going to be. The original Sea Fortress did not have Fog of War, so this is also something that's a little bit different. So send these forward, and I gotta be especially careful with the units inside of the transporters. I'm actually gonna unload one of them. I'm gonna unload the missile first. Uh, I guess the APC can go, too. There's not really anything that could, like, fire at me at the moment, I think. Uh, the battleships can stay in the reefs, and I'm gonna try and get, I'm gonna try and get this lander over here to where there's a silo that you can get. To be honest, this mission is basically about surviving an initial wave of enemies, and then you just have to move carefully to avoid mini cannon fire. So, let's do... Oh yeah, there's also a unit inside of the T-copter, inside of your cruiser. Transportception. It's actually kind of funny. It makes me wish we had Eagle here after all, because then his superpower would be very good for that. Because you could unload your unit, and then use Lightning Strike, and then move the unloaded unit, etc. You know how it goes. Oh, don't drop those yet. I guess I'll keep one cruiser to each side. And this lander can stay over here. Let's see what Hawk has. We're up against Hawk, which means his mass damage is going to heal his units. So, uh, Tsunami is not as useful as it normally would be, but you still drain his fuel. That's important because he has air units. And unlike Eagle, he does not have reduced uh, fuel burn. So he did not move anything into range at the moment, but I can fire at the cruiser with a battleship. And then finish it off with a sub if I want. And this is letting me inch forward and get some more vision. I'm going to reveal what's in the reef. There is nothing in the reef. Test those reeves. Is is that is that the plural of reef? Reeves? That's that seems kind of weird. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Um I guess the missile has to go on the city cuz I want to get it into the forest later. And getting the APC here is important because that lets you refuel your subs. Because for some reason, the APCs refuel anything. And so, as long as we uh, keep the APC going forward, then uh, we'll be able to... I'm going to just move the lander here. It'll get into the reef on the next turn. I tend to play very cautiously in Fog of War. Because you never know where, like, a bomber, for example, could be. So let's do this. And I'll keep the cruiser here. I don't think the cruiser's going to get hit by anything. I'll just keep the... Lander there just in case I need to make a retreat. Keep units in the 
reefs. And you can capture the ports to build some more navy units, but I think you're only going to be able to get, like, one extra battleship, which is probably enough. Alright, so here they come. We see some B-copters at first. Those are actually very threatening to cruisers, and the enemy is rising the subs, like, right there. But there are a lot of subs, that's more than I expected. But that gave me enough power for a tsunami. The advantage to being the Navy specialist is that your Navy units cost so much that they will really get your power meter going as soon as you start getting into combat. But that's going to apply to the enemy as well. Hawk is probably going to have his super. I, I'd expect him to have his super by the time I'm done with this turn. But as long as I get rid of as many enemy units as possible, that's going to be all right. I think I'm going to focus on staying out of sight of the enemy. So, uh, I wish I could get into this reef right here, but that's just not happening. This this battleship can fire at this. And the one damage from the tsunami like actually made that a guaranteed one-shot instead of a chance of a one-shot. So that's actually a good thing, too. So the one HP of damage is still useful. All right, what do I want to do here? Um, if I go, I, I, you know, I want to shoot at the battleship. I really do. I really need to get rid of it, actually. That's probably for the best. Um, it's probably best to do that. Th these guys are, like, they're pro they're pretty much guaranteed to, like, take two damage. So I gotta watch that. Um, which means keeping your units inside of the transporters is not a bad idea, because they'll be safe from the mass damage. Let's do that, in fact. Uh, the missile's probably alright. Like, it's a missile, so it still does a lot of damage to air units, even after it takes a couple hits. Uh, keep the cruiser... I'm just gonna f I'm just gonna fire at this thing. I need to... Oh, I needed to reveal the battleship. That's what I needed. Alright. This battleship can go here. And I need to... Uh, the battleship is going to... Let's do... I guess, ah, that's a lot of enemy units. Alright, I'm going to lose a unit one way or another, so I'm just going to get rid of this battleship while I'm able. I don't really see any way, like, I could take a huge amount of damage here. So, super? Yeah, super on turn three. That's very standard for Sea Fortress. Alright, let's just uh, hope we don't take too many hits here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to capture those ports, because now I need to repair the battleships. Alright, so far so good. The subs are actually running out of fuel. I think I could ignore the subs completely, because they're just going to run out of fuel if they stay dived. Yeah, I don't expect a high rank on this mission at all. In fact, let me check terms just to see if anything is different. Okay, don't lose more than three units. I think I have uh, messed that up already. Well, I've lost two units. All right. First things first, get rid of this. Uh, it still lived on one health, but I think that's okay. Let's come down here and destroy, well, at least reduce the sub. I can do that. And joining your units will also uh, give you... It, it, it combines their fuel, so that can help you stay afloat if you've got damaged subs. Alright, what to do with the bomber? Uh, let's see. I think I need to start letting the air units get going here. Let's do... Yeah, I really need the mech to start capturing things too. Stay there. You can do that. Might as well not let it retreat. Hawk doesn't have an airport or anything, so it's not a problem if he, like, has a 1 HP B-copter left or something. Although it would get repaired by his powers. Let's see, where can these go? Right, you pull back and let the air units out here. And I can redrop the APC now. So this might be a little bit slow. 
but I prefer playing slow and uh, keeping most of my units afloat. Right, he's got some more copters. And I, and I heard a sub, by the way. You can actually hear the enemy subs diving. Alright. If I destroy one of these, is that enough for a tsunami? It is. Let's do it. Anchors away. The damage isn't the most important part, but... Oh, this also reveals where all the enemies are. If you remember where all of those animations played, then you might realize that there's, like, a unit here, I think? I think that's where one of them is. Anyways, I'm getting close to it now, and I have a particular plan for dealing with this mini cannon, by the way. So you'll see what that is. Get rid of that, and I can actually move up here and get this, too. Cruisers have a lot of movement. Is Oh, Drake has plus one movement to his navy units. I uh, don't often remember that part of his power. Alright, so the battleship can move closer. Oh, there's where the sub is. I guess I need to get the cruisers ready for dealing with that. Can the sub make it over there? No. Maybe the APC can distract the enemy a little bit. Like it's Advanced Wars 1 again. Right. T-Copter needs to go over here, and that mech needs to be put to work. I'll keep the B-Copter nearby. And we are slowly but surely building up our cash, so we should be able to purchase a battleship. Oh, the sub wasn't a problem anyways, it was out of fuel. <laughs> See, I told you that would be helpful. That's why this version of the map is interesting. You get to make Drake do Drake things. I mean, since when has anyone ever used fuel as part of their strategy in this game? Are these almost out of fuel? They're very low, that's for sure. Right. Battleship revealed itself. I want to get rid of that. Uh, battleships don't burn fuel as fast as the air units do. Let's get rid of you. And this cruiser is probably going to... I can destroy these anyways. I need the... I'm um, probably, like, fueling another hawk power. Uh, no, he's not up to super yet. He's gonna wait until super. So... I guess it's safe for the battleship to move forward now. I didn't see what happened to his, uh, bomber. I know he's got one. Maybe it's out of fuel. That'd be funny. All right, drop this here, and let's see what's in the forest. Nothing. I should remember what's in the forest. See, there's a rocket here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to drop my own rocket there. Next turn, I can drop the Neotank. Well, no, I can't drop the Neotank. I'm actually going to use this rocket to shoot at the mini cannon. Can it reach the other one? Yeah, it can reach two of them. That's actually really good. And I'll pick it up after it's done, and then start shooting at the other ones. That's part of the strategy, and the sub is going to move here. Like, it's at two health, so it's not going to be super useful or anything. Although I do hear an enemy bomber, so that's might be a little bit concerning. I don't want the lander to get hit. Right, so, in four turns, those mini cannons will be done. And in the meanwhile... Oh, should I shoot at this? Um, can the other battleship reach? No. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus this battleship on destroying the mini cannon over here. And um these guys need to start flying, geez. Oh, there's the bomber. Alright, I need to approach this carefully. I'm gonna use the silo on the bomber. No! Oh no! <laughs> I can't believe that! Well, there's one for the scrapbook, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. That probably scared you guys if you had, like, your headphones on or were in another tab or something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, 4 HP is fine. I can handle this, but I'm never going to live that one down. That's karma for 
That's karma for what happened in that one video where I was playing Days of Ruin with Mangs. Oh my goodness. How did I mess that up? Alright. I need... I need vision. Um, I need vision over here too. Can the, can the mini cannon see the subs if they're dived? I'd imagine they couldn't. Ugh. Oh, look, the B-copters are going away. Oh, that actually adds to his... No, the cruiser attack added to his power meter, so I'm getting punished big time for that. Oh, and I've just unloaded the rocket, so now its attack power is going to drop. This is terrible. This is so terrible. Do I get a tsunami after this? Um, maybe. Not much more left to go. How many turns is it going to take now? It's going to take three whole turns for that. Unless I join the battleships and waste a bunch of money. Well, um, how much damage do I do here? At least I can get rid of the first mini cannon that way. And I still have the Neo Tank. I'm not dead yet. And with the mini cannon out of the way, I can actually swing around here and... Would, would that be safe? Yeah, it would be safe. Alright. Just gotta keep calm. That's gonna take even longer to... Capture this thing. Ugh. But the enemy's gonna... Oh, the, the B-copter is out of fuel. I'm safe. And the cruiser is... Low. Not completely out of fuel. Uh, get in this cruiser. Safer that way. Or I could just shoot at it. Uh, yeah, I'll tsunami him again. Wave goodbye to your troops. And my dignity. After that whiff with the silo, there is just no way to convince you guys that I'm actually good at this game anymore. Ugh. They'll remember that one for a while. Oh, look, a missile. An enemy missile. What a weird position for it. Uh, get in there. I'm gonna repair the APC as well. Even though there's probably not much reason for it. Uh, this is the blind spot of the rocket, so I can still destroy the mini cannon that way. And I'm probably gonna have to uh, transport over to the other one and get it that way too. Oh, this battleship's actually almost got it um, dealt with. So, what if I go... The problem is I need to avoid getting hit by the mini cannon itself, so I'll go here. And, um... Let's see. I want to drop the copter, but I can't do that because the missile is there. Well, at least this is captured, which is a bit of an assist. And, um... Oh yeah, did you guys know that cruisers refuel your uh, copters if you load them in? That might actually come in handy in this map. In fact, if Hawk knew to do that... Well, the AI does know to do that, but he doesn't have... Well, he doesn't have any cruisers now. I got rid of them all. Oh yeah, I, um, I also made a mistake with this battleship. I left it in range of the rocket. I'm dumb. What's an airport? That's how dumb I am. <laughs> Can't even pronounce words right anymore. Right, let's get some... Oh yeah, you also can't go in between these shoals, by the way. I don't know if it looked like you might be able to. Right, I guess I'll have to get on the lander and... Um... I guess I'll have to get up and behind the mini cannon in order to land the rockets there. And now I don't have a battleship... For actually, like, hitting things. Because I don't have the money for it anymore. I spent all my money. Alright. I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. This would have gone swimmingly if I hadn't made so many dumb errors. Right, I bet my submarine has to come back for fuel. It'll get its fuel eventually. 
can try and pull all the way over here. Oh, that lander is almost out of fuel. I won't worry about it too much, though. Oh, there's a unit here? Oh, there's an artillery. Okay. This is far enough that the missile can't do anything. Wait, where do I go with this? How about here? That should be safe. Yeah, I just don't have that many units remaining, and oh my goodness, there's some kind of a rocket, and there's a sub. There's there's a sub. I don't want to lose this run, you guys, because that, that, that honestly, that was kind of funny, the mistake that I made. Um... I just hope that there was, like, an artillery in this wood tile and it's not, like, a rocket here or something, because... Well, I can get another battleship. Boy, oh boy. Uh, I can get rid of this. That didn't do anything. Okay, that crashes, and there goes the Neotank and the rocket. Nice. Okay. Well, now that I've seen what happens if you goof, like, particularly badly, uh, I'm not sure I like this map as much as I used to. Sea Fortress with Fog of War? Really not a good idea. Like, Fog of War in general is just, like, what are you doing? But then putting Sea Fortress on top of that... The map that is based around careful positioning of units and so forth. I see a sea fortress no more. No. Anyways, that's going to be it for the Cartel Christmas back for the time being. I might try to beat the Yellow Comet missions. I don't think that's going to happen unless they get nerfed in difficulty. But with that out of the way, I'm going to move on to some other stuff. So, uh, see you for that. Uh, later, everyone.